Okay, so with Tutor LMS, you can create free courses and basically people can just access your courses absolutely free. But what if you want to sell your courses? And this is how a lot of people are making money online. And this is by selling their online courses. In this video, I am going to show you how to connect WooCommerce and cart flows together with Tutor LMS to sell your courses. Let's dive in and let me show you how. All right, so first things first, what we're going to need to do here is to install WooCommerce. This is a free plugin and this is going to work as our main software to allow people to buy courses on our website. All right, so let's go and install it. So I'm gonna come over here to plugins, click on add new. So over here on the top right, I'm going to search for WooCommerce and here it is. I'm gonna hit install now. Next, I'm gonna hit activate. Right, so we have this setup here that we can go through, but you know what? I'm going to skip this because I'm just going to go in and set it up fast for you. Okay. So I'm going to say no thanks here. I'm going to close out of here. So now that we have WooCommerce installed, the next thing we're going to do is to install cart flows because cart flows allows us to have beautiful checkout and a thank you pages. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to come back over here to my plugins and click on add new. I'm going to search for cart flows and here it is. I'm going to click install. Now this plugin is free. It does also have a pro version, but I will be talking about that in an upcoming video. Okay, next I'm gonna hit activate. All right, so I am going to skip the uh, wizard setup. And then next I need to go now to my WooCommerce settings. So I'm gonna click here on settings. And this is where I just need to do a few things to make sure that uh, WooCommerce is working great. So I'm going to come over here now to account and privacy because here is where we need to say, okay, you know what? We need to allow customers to log in to an existing account during checkout. Boom. So that's very important. Over here, account creation. We want to allow customers to create an account during checkout. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. And now the next thing here is when creating an account, automatically generate account username for the user based on their username and email. That is great. And also when creating an account, we want to automatically generate the password for them. Great. So now that we have this all set, this is good. The next stage is to set up our payment gateways. So let me just come all the way down here hit save changes. And then over here on the payment gateways, this is where you need to add or set up your PayPal or Stripe. So I'm going to activate it here, hit setup. And this is where you just need to add your email address. Right now I have this default one here. I'm just going to leave this for now as it is. But in your case, you need to add your PayPal email account. If you don't have one set up, you need to go to paypal.com and set up your PayPal account. If you want to use Stripe again, you need to go to stripe.com and set up your Stripe account. So these are not the only two payment gateways or payment services services that you can use. You can also integrate WooCommerce with many, many other ones, but I'm just going to focus on these two because this is what we use here in Europe and obviously majority of America. The next step now is to head over here now to Tutor LMS and we want to go to settings. The reason why we need to do this is because we need to activate that integration. So I'm going to come over here to WooCommerce and then I'm going to click here on enable add to cart feature for guest users. I'm going to hit save settings. Over here on the monetization tab, I am going to make sure I select WooCommerce and then hit save settings. So pretty much this is done. The next step now is to head over now to WooCommerce and create a product. So I'm going to come over here to WooCommerce and I am going to click here on products. So at the moment, we don't have any products. So I'm going to click on create product. So we are going to give this product a name and this is going to be our course, the course that we already have on our site, which is this one right here, Business Mastery 101. So I'm going to name it here. Now over here, I'm just going to add a bit of a description just like that. Now you need to make sure that this is virtual, downloadable, and I'm also going to select here for tutor. Now we need to add our price. So I'm just going to add my price here as $97. Now over here, we need to add our product image. So I'm going to click here and this is just for consistency purposes. I'm going to select my image here and do we have a featured image? Okay. We don't have a featured image. That's fine. Okay. So now that I've added my price, I'm now going to hit publish. So now our product has been created and this is fantastic. Okay. So the next step now is to head over now to Tutor LMS and make sure that this is linked. Okay, so over here now, I need to go to courses. I'm going to click on edit. Okay, so now if I scroll all the way down here, we can see here now we have this option which says add product. And this is where when we click on this drop down, we see that we have Business Mastery 101. So I'm going to select that. Course type, I'm going to choose paid. 
And now when I hit update, this should now update this. And when people come now to my site, they will be able to pay for the course to get access to it. Okay, so now I'm going to hit view course. And now you can see that over here, it says $97 and we can now click on add to cart. And this now is going to go to our cart. So this is how we add payments to our courses on our Tutor LMS website. But I have even a better way of presenting our landing page for our course, our checkout page, and also our thank you page. So this is what I'm going to be showing you in the next video. See you in the next one.